This is my view from where I sleep. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. I am currently at my cabin. This is the most Wisconsin thing. <laughs> Literally a map of Wisconsin behind me. And there's a moose on the wall over there. Today I'm filming a day in my life, but it's gonna be super fun because I'm at my cabin, not at home where I do nothing. Let's get this day started. Okay, I'm in the kitchen right now. The absolute craziest thing just happened. <laughs> so I wear a retainer. Basically, I have an Invisalign-like retainer that I wear during the day, a top and a bottom, and then one that I put in at night. And I only have to wear the top Invisalign because the bottom one I only have to put in like once a week just to make sure it still fits. I don't want my bagels to burn. Yeah? In the middle of the night, I accidentally, in the bathroom, I, I like kind of hit it. I don't remember how and it fell and I'm just like oh shit and I saw you know one of the retainers just I didn't know there were two so I picked up the case and I picked up the retainer and I meant to tell you before you woke up I put it out here do you have one in no we're missing one I know it's probably in the on the floor in the bathroom Ah. I guess I need a little bit of it. Well, to continue my story time, I woke up and couldn't find my retainer case, and then I saw it sitting on the table in the living room with my Invisalign on top of it, with the top... Thank you. Anyway, so basically, I saw that and I was like, who, who put my retainer there? My mom was like, no one touched your retainer. And I, I knew I didn't put it there. So my first thought was I slept walk and put it there, which I have a history of sleepwalking. So it kind of made sense, but it was also still kind of crazy. And then I opened the retainer case and noticed that my bottom one was gone. Basically, me and my mom thought that I took both of the Invisalign out. Did we have cream cheese i don't know anyways so i thought that i had literally taken out one of my retainers and hit it in the middle of the night and my mom was really scared that i flushed it down the toilet <laughs> but then my dad just came in as you saw and apparently he knocked it onto the floor in the middle of the night so crisis averted i guess except for the fact that my retainer was on the floor of that nasty bathroom with spiders you're welcome for that guys Go eat. Yeah. That looks really bad. Emma Chamberlain. What did you just say? How do you know Emma Chamberlain's name? Everybody knows Emma Chamberlain. <laughs> I got too many people up ahead of that shit got me stressing. Like, will I be the next case of a shorty necklace because they want to take my necklace? I can't. I think we've been walking for like 40 minutes, so probably like three, three and a half miles. My mom and sister are way ahead. My dad's way behind, so I'm right in the middle. And we've got about 20 minutes left to make it four and a half miles. Let's do this. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> mom, I know. That's my tripod. Ready for this transition? I'm about to go swimming, so I'm going to switch to this camera. Let's do this.
finished swimming i got some cool pictures which will probably be on my instagram at some point so go follow it at core josephine with two e's <laughs> but i think i'm about to take a shower i'll be out of the shower in three two one that was fast. <laughs> I thought this would be a good time to talk to you guys about a company that sent me some products for this video. So have you ever been like really stuck thinking about a gift you wanna get for a friend or family member for their birthday or a holiday and you wanna get something like fun but also like practical? So Crown & Paw is a company that customizes your pet onto various portraits that they have on their website. What's funny is that when they reached out to me, I actually was so surprised because I already have something from their company. <laughs> I think last year we received one of their portraits for my dog as a gift. So when they reached out to me, I was like, um, I absolutely would love another portrait for my dog. So the main like theme of their website is like renaissance and sort of like royal kind of stuff that you can put your dog's face on. But I did some digging and they actually have so many things you can choose from. My dog is named Lambo. He's named after Curly Lambo, who was a player on the Green Bay Packers. So I figured, why not get his head on a football player? So that is what I did and I decided to surprise my parents with it. So here's the footage of me a couple days ago getting that package in the mail and surprising my family. Hi, I look absolutely awful right now, but I just got a package in the mail from a company that reached out to me and asked if I wanted any of their products and I'm so excited to open this. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna go surprise my parents. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's so cute. It's adorable. Ew. Oh. oh, what's that? Is that you? Is that you? <laughs> the picture works really well too. Oh. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. And if you guys want to get one as well for yourself or for someone else as a gift, use my code Cora10 for 10% off your order. And I'll also have the link to their website in the description box. We are on our way to pick up dinner. We are getting pizza. Not your baby girl. I plastic. Call me classic. How are you guys doing? How are you really? Can I rant to you guys real quick? I'm doing it anyways. So. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see that on my recent post, I talked a little bit about how TikTok has me banned. Now, not banned from just any content, but banned from posting myself in a bikini. I cannot tell you how freaking frustrating this has been. The first video I tried to post was me doing a normal TikTok dance wearing a bikini, which is very common for popular creators to do. And on the video, I had text giving a bunch of body positive things. The whole video was geared around body positivity and loving yourself no matter what. And it was shadow banned, so it never was posted. It always had zero views, zero likes. Obviously, it wasn't getting to anyone. I tried to repost it a couple times. I emailed TikTok. They didn't get back to me, whatever. Then I made another one a couple days later, and <laughs> shocker! same thing happened. Then I'm up here at my cabin today and I decided to post another one and I just made the hashtag normalize normal bodies. And guess what? Shadow ban. <laughs> Shocker there. So I found a different way to contact TikTok and I did. In the meantime, I'm just really upset that a skinny person can post a video of them in a bikini and it's fine, but if a bigger girl does it, it's against community guidelines. TikTok, you've got some explaining to do. Here comes my Padre. He's coming with the za. Okay, how many people in there were wearing a mask? Let's see. None. You were the only one? Only one. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> Dear. Dear baby. on TikTok and saw I was getting a fair amount of likes and I was like, what did I post? And then I saw that my bikini video from earlier today got put up. So maybe me 
aggressively messaging TikTok worked. I'll read what I said. I get banned every time I post a video in a bikini, yet thousands of creators who are skinny post videos of them in bikinis every day. Please unblock my videos. I spread body positive content, and this is proving my point that bigger girls are treated poorly just because of the size of their body. Apparently, that got through to them. So good <laughs> anyway so it's currently nine o'clock i don't really know what we're doing the rest of the night my dad made a cake which i showed earlier and i know we're gonna eat that but other than that i mean maybe we'll play a game or watch something also i talk about this a lot on my instagram but if you guys ever have any videos that you want me to film comment them below dm me just let me know because i'm always looking for video ideas <laughs> It's much later now. I think it's like 11 o'clock, but we just watched an episode of The Office and now we're kind of winding down and I'm about to go to bed. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to check out Crown and Paws website. And if you want to buy something, use my discount code Cora10 for 10% off. I love you guys so, so, so much and stay safe and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching.